All right, what's going on YouTube? This is the Russell Cage Experience. It is uh, about five after two o'clock in the morning here uh, in Cincinnati. Uh, I have some Oba Paker, and uh, this is my 10 a.m. pack review for uh, May 28, uh, 2009. Let's get right to it. Uh, I want to try to skip the the uh, uh, interview segments and, and and whatnot if uh, if they really didn't have much. Uh, meat to them. So uh, we opened the show with the X Division Championship match, uh, Amazing Red versus Suicide, and I can tell uh, a difference between the Suicide wrestling now and the one wrestling, uh, you know, in the past. Uh, not sure who's under the mask now, but uh, honestly, uh, no offense to Amazing Red or whoever's playing Suicide right now, but this was a really a rough match to watch, um, as was. Uh, some, some of these matches honestly were rough matches to watch. Uh, there was only really two uh, good matches, uh, I, I want to say, uh, in the show tonight. So, uh, Suicide uh, retains his X Division Championship, however, um, and and that was as mainly that. Um, next thing we have up is Sting uh, as his first act as the uh, head of the Main Event Mafia now. Uh, he comes out. Uh, you can tell Kurt Angle's not happy, uh, and and basically Sting's wanting to get back to what they originally planned for the group, and that was uh, to bring honor, honor uh, and tradition back to, I, I guess, wrestling there. Um, and his first act was to get rid of the women, uh, ban the women from Main Event Mafia, uh, because as we all know, Jenna and, and uh, Charmel are... are uh, causing problems in, in the group within itself, so uh, ban the women from Main Event Mafia, and he fires Kurt Angle's personal security guards, um, so Kurt Angle not happy about that, but oh well, uh, and Samojo interrupts, basically says he has a hit list, and then he's, he's gradually going to work his way to Kurt, and he's been ordered to kill Kurt Angle, uh, so we will see where that goes, the killing and all that, so... Uh, anyway, that was that was the uh, Sting Main Event Mafia segment. His first act is as leader of the Main Event Mafia. Uh, good segment, good uh, good way to kind of uh, help us figure out where this uh, Main Event Mafia thing's going. And uh, I honestly expect to see maybe a power struggle, maybe even uh, the Main Event Mafia may be uh, disbanding uh, and going their own separate ways. I, I don't know, but that's just a thought right now. Uh, but anyway. Uh, JB is backstage with Mick Foley, uh, has an interview, uh, basically says that he has give, been given permission by his lawyer and the shareholders uh, to share what went on in the shareholders meeting in Nashville, um, and basically he's going to uh, do that, uh, but he announces two King of the Mountain qualifying matches tonight, uh, Daniels versus AJ Styles and Jeff Jarrett versus Eric Young, uh, both these I'm expecting, I was expecting to be good matches, so... Uh, we'll see how I feel about those here shortly. Uh, we have a British Invasion ladder match challenge uh, for the X Division briefcase that Doug Williams holds. Um, so I wasn't sure who's going to answer this, but uh, Cody Diener with ODB answered uh, the challenge, and I'm really, uh, I really don't like Cody Diener honestly. I when he first showed up as as winning the date with ODB, I, he he just he he annoys me. He he annoys me is what it is. Um, so this was a one time uh, segment or one time thing um, where I'm rooting on the British Invasion. Don't get me wrong, they're great athletes, but uh, Doug Williams being the heel here, uh, uh, Doug Williams picks up the victory uh, thankfully, and I was rooting on him because uh, he's a better overall wrestler anyway. Um, we have a live therapy session with Abyss here. Uh, basically, Stevie Richards says he, they got to start over from scratch, start at uh, the beginning again. Uh, puts Abyss in a straight jacket. Lauren comes out. He's going to, Stevie's going to hand with a kendo stick. Lauren comes out, uh, tries to save Abyss. Raven, uh, first debut of the night uh, of the three, Raven comes out, attacks Abyss. Um, and basically, it looks like we're setting up a Raven versus Abyss feud now that now that Raven's back. So uh, we'll just have to see where this goes from here. Uh, maybe we'll see a more courageous and more of an Abyss that we had before the entire uh, 
switch over to this being a frightened abyss. So uh, anyway, uh, our next matchup we have is the knockouts title, uh, and this was another rough match to watch. And you know, I, I, I've uh, complimented the the women wrestling in TNA here uh, the past few uh, times, and, and uh, honestly. Uh, this was a rough match to watch. Angelina Love uh, with the returning all three members, other three members of the beautiful people um, versus Sojourner Bolt. And uh, Angelina Love picks up the victory with a hairspray to the eyes. And I forget whose video I was watching, but somebody mentioned that uh, they don't see how you can win a match by being blinded by hairspray. I have to agree, but anyway. Uh, Angelina Love gets on the mic, says that. Uh, Q Kip is fired, and uh, she's wondering where the other competition in the company is, and uh, that brings out our second big debut of the night, Victoria. Uh, so we are going to be seeing Victoria versus Angela in love, and I'm, I'm having, uh, I, I have hopeful thoughts and, and positive thoughts uh, on this feud uh, as we speak. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Um, we have an interview with Eric Young as well as Lethal Consequences, Mercy Machine Guns. Uh, the main thing to take away from the Eric Young pay, uh, interview is that he is going to be um, making an impact tonight, uh, no pun intended, but uh, he will be, uh, people will not be forgetting him, and, and he has been kind of getting overshadowed and, and just kind of used here in the past, and uh, the entire Lethal Consequences of Mercy Machine was saying was the entire suicide uh, thing, so nothing really much to take from there. Um, Except Jay Lethal calling uh, Mercy and Machine Guns the Rockers and uh, referring to them as uh, Janetti and Michaels. So uh, I, I like Jay Lethal though, I do. Uh, McFoley comes to the ring, addresses the Nashville meeting. Uh, before he does that, he does make an Our Kingdom Mountain qualifying match to Mojo versus Kevin Ash next week in a lethal lockdown match. So that one, uh, that one has potential to be okay. Um, and, and basically, the main thing here is. Uh, after Slammiversary, he says he's going, going to be defending the title once a year. So let's open pray that um, either AJ Styles and I just ruined that that uh, King of the Mountain qualifying match. Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So let's hopefully somebody beats him at, at Slammiversary for the title. Um, first King of the Mountain uh, match we have qualifying matches: Jeff Jarrett versus Eric Young. Good match here. Uh, really, uh, I, I see them trying to push uh, Eric Young to uh, the, the main event spot, and hopefully they will, um, because Eric Young has great potential uh, to be a main event player here in, in TNA. So, um, but after the match, uh, Eric Young is pretty much, as you can tell, fed up. He attacks Jeff Jarrett, uh, attacks Jeff Jarrett's hamstring, and, and uh, that was that. So, uh, and then our uh, next King of the Mountain qualifying match. AJ Styles versus Daniels. This one, uh, honestly, for me, was match of the night. Uh, these two guys are, are amazing in the ring, and I, I love watching uh, uh, these two wrestle, especially when they wrestle each other, because you're guaranteed to get a great match out of it. Um, AJ Styles picks up the victory, so now we have uh, Mick Foley, Jeff Jarrett, and AJ Styles in the uh, King of the Mountain match, and uh, maybe AJ Styles can win the world title and just completely drop this Legends title altogether. Um, but our third big debut of the night, uh, well, the big depending on who you are, um, Shane Douglas uh, debuts once again with TNA, uh, attacking Daniel, so we're going to probably see a Shane Douglas versus Daniels feud at Slammiversary, a Daniels match, uh, and honestly that was uh, TNA this week, kind of a, a rough, um, rough follow-up to uh, uh, TNA uh, following the pay-per-view, but uh, we did get one one good match. Unfortunately, it was uh, you had to watch the entire show to get it. So, uh, well, hopefully TNA will bounce back next week, um, and we will be able to get some uh, good, uh, good, more good matches, I should say, and uh, more build up for Slamversary. So, uh, hey guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you watch TNA, post your thoughts uh, below. If you like what you're watching, if you're not subscribed, go and subscribe, and. Uh, uh, as always, you guys take it easy and uh, peace out.